What's up guys, it's Sparky. I'm very excited to bring to you the advanced little bird guide today. I'm going to jump right into it, so if you found anything useful, please drop a like, and if you want to see more of this, please subscribe. Alright, let's get into it. I'm going to split this guide into chapters, so if there's a section you particularly want to watch, or go back and watch, the chapters will be in the description below. Chapter 1, How to Get a Helicopter. This is the most important chapter because this is how you will get to practice. The little bird is a very highly contested asset in BattleBit. Lots of people are trying to get into it and only one person can fly it. There are two types of maps with little birds. The first, you have to spawn in base to get the little bird and the second, your team has to capture an objective to get it. To get into a helicopter that spawns in base, you basically have to join a server when it's brand new or you get lucky in the middle of the game. And it may seem harder to get a little bird on an objective, but there's a strategy I use that I almost always get a little bird with. For this example, I'll be trying to get a little bird on Wakistan, which is the hardest map to get the little bird on. I analyze both teams to see which one is going to get to see first. I change to that team. I wait for my new team to capture the objective. I click on it and hold spacebar, which is much quicker than trying to click on the deploy button. And on Isle or Sandy Sunset, all you have to do is wait for your team to capture the correct objective and spawn into the helicopter there. Chapter 2, How to Fly the Little Bird. I'm assuming you've already set up your controls correctly, and if you haven't, go check out my beginner's guide. There are a few flying styles that you need to master to be able to be ready for any situation. One is flying upside down and be able to stay on target. But the most important movement you can master is flying sideways. As soon as you slow down, you're going to get shot out. So just be mindful of your surroundings, don't run into any trees, and just fly sideways. The number one tip I can give you to get more kills is to just practice flying. If you need to, get one of those helicopters without a gun and just try to crash into other little birds. Or try to crash into people. Just practice. With enough practice, you will improve. You will be able to shoot and fly while going upside down at the same time. That's why chapter 1 is so important, to get more time in the little bird. And while it may be tempting to continue strafe runs, if you have low health, it's always better to try to go heal. Doing this consistently will ensure longer kill streaks and a higher KDR overall. One tip for if you forget to play as a medic and get the helicopter somehow, all you have to do is fly kind of high, use the respawn button, choose medic, and hope nobody steals your helicopter while it's floating to the ground. If you fly high enough, you should have enough time to get back in your helicopter and continue the game. Chapter 3, how to properly shoot the little bird. When shooting at enemy helicopters, always go for the pilot, and with enough practice this will be the easiest thing to do. Shooting at ground troops, however, is not the easiest thing to do. It is best to prioritize large groups of targets, especially targets that are laying down and sitting still. This proves especially effective on the Wacky Sand Bridge, where large groups of enemies clump up to try to find cover behind these barricades, and it is simply so easy to just mow them down. When shooting at enemies, it is easier to shoot them from the side when they're standing up, and from above when they're laying down. So just keep that in mind depending on what kind of target you're shooting at. Also, it's good to remember your little bird is equipped with 3,000 rounds, so just keep shooting. You're not, probably not going to run out, and if you do, then you're doing a really good job. Chapter 4, How to Fight Other Helicopters Normally, transport helicopters are of little threat to little birds, but on the special occasion that the pilots are actually really good, they'll get super high in the sky near the, the height limit and you won't be able to swoop down on them. So just be careful of this, because if the gunners are any good, you're probably going to get shot out. And I try to avoid good Black Hawk pilots, kind of like this. This guy knew what he was doing. When taking on other little birds, it's always good to sneak up and try to shoot the pilot out. If not, then prepare for a dogfight, and dogfights are just the most fun you can have in a little bird. I absolutely love dogfights. Going face to face with another helicopter, trying to shoot each other out, just doesn't get any better than that. Just look at this. This guy was pretty good, and he knew what he was doing. And if you get shot, don't freak out, just hold three and keep keep shooting. And like most things in life, the more aggressive person is going to be the winner. So don't stop shooting. You've got plenty of rounds, just let them have it. And with enough effort, you will shoot out the other pilot. Don't forget, most people fly around with the co-pilot. So if you shoot out the pilot, keep shooting the enemy helicopter just to make sure that there's no co-pilot left. 
Chapter 5. Random tips, and I'll answer some of y'all's questions. So, this is an interesting tip that I picked up the other day. If you're going to repair your helicopter, don't land on the helipad, because this could happen. The transport helicopter will kill you. It will take you out. No remorse. Now, I asked the other day if anybody had any questions or any tips they would like to share, and somebody said they wanted to let everybody know that if you take out the other little bird, go steal it for yourself, or let your co-pilot take it. One of the two, and then you'll have two little birds, and the enemy team will have zero. So just keep that in mind if you shoot down another little bird. I've also had some people ask me about my sensitivity. How is my DPI settings? How are my mouse settings? How do I stay so steady on people? And the answer is practice and the DPI settings. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I just, my mouse is pretty sensitive, so I don't have to move my hand a lot. A lot of people say they run out of space. I don't run out of space. And my mouse pad is pretty small, so that probably means I've got a high sensitivity. So just keep that in mind. If you need to up your sensitivity, just up it. If you're running out of space, turn up your sensitivity. If you are flying all over the place, lower it. Just find what works for you and practice. And before this video ends, I wanted to thank all the great co-pilots I've had and all the other pilots I've gone against. I've had a blast flying and I now have 5,000 kills. I've learned a lot and I'm really glad that I can share it with everybody. So enjoy flying, be a good co-pilot, and I sincerely apologize to all the poor troops I've killed on Wakasan. The thousands of poor ground troops I've killed. I'm really sorry. Please stop reporting me. I'm like about to get banned. And thank you for watching. My name is Sparky. I really hope you enjoyed the guide. I hope you learned something. Maybe picked up one or two tips that you didn't know beforehand. And I had a blast making it. So thank you so much for watching.